Cindy Ross, owner of Socialize Your Business, and we are at Loda Beer Garden today for the Fast Five with Maggie Golden, the owner, and Maggie. Thanks for joining me this morning. Yeah. I made him get up early. No, not early. You're always every up now early, and then. Right? Yeah. Got a baby on the way, so 6, 6 a.m. Any every day? morning. Any day. Any day now. Any day. You baby. First time. First, first baby. <laughs> So Matthew's going to do Fast Five with me, so we got five random questions. I had to give uh, May, our content writer, I was like, he likes fishing, he likes this, he likes, I don't like going through it. I'm like, I'm glad you know you. me. I know you. I know this. All right, you ready for question number yes. one? Yes. All right. What is the one beer out of 102 drafts at Loda Beer Garden that you wish more people knew about? Ooh, uh, would probably be, uh, that's a tough one, honestly. I'd probably say Aventinas. It's a wheat double box. It's unfiltered. It's actually a top ten beer in the world. It's really, really, really good. Um, our servers do a re bartenders do a really good job of actually telling people about it. But there's so many of them. There's a lot. You know that one that gets um, asked about a lot on um, your Facebook Messenger, but it's the like a raspberry flavored or strawberry flavored one. That they You're talking about Fremont? Like, I think so. It's a cranberry lambic. Yeah. It's actually really, really. Good. It is. Like yeah, you can mix it. You can mix a lot of beers with it and everything. So it's it's a fun one to play around with. We have that gear around. It's nice. awesome. Nice. Okay. Question number two. You're about to be a dad. What is the one baby store that your wife cannot stay out of? Uh, right now, um, it's probably Babies R Us. Or I mean, she's. We're ready to actually stay out of baby stores. Believe it or not, we've got everything. But. We, uh, the, the one thing she can do right now is stay out of the pool. So yeah. she's been hanging out up at uh, Red Bull Country Club for just a, a, a lot chilling. here lately with her mom, just hanging out at the chilling. pool, chilling. Chilling. Yeah. Hey, she deserves it. She's yeah. got that baby. Yeah. Question number three. We hear that you're a great fisherman. Where do you buy your fishing gear? Ooh, probably, um, that's a tough one. We buy a lot of stuff from Bass Pro Shop. A lot of stuff from Academy, but I would probably say most of it we make ourselves, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah, we make a lot I of stuff. I can testify ourselves. that Matthew's a good fisherman. I actually got to go out with you the first time of the season. And it was like, it was almost like we chartered a fishing boat and Matthew was our guide. And because you knew so much about it, I was very impressed. It's a lot of fun. I'd say, like, if we, if we need last minute things or you get super specialty stuff. I'd say Jane and Tack on Orange Beach probably be the place. Yeah, they have everything there. I even the got my selfie city. stick there the other day. <laughs> <laughs> they have everything. All right, question number four. Um, so Old Chill Growler, Old Chill Growler is about to open. Yes. And um, one of the questions that we want to know at Social Entrepreneur Business is what was the inspiration behind the Old Chill Growler menu? Uh, the food menu? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, we got some different things on there. There's a lot of things on there that are just out there. Um, the inspiration really came from, you know, my business partners, Charlie Sosa and my dad, Robert Goldman. Um, we got together with our buddy Ryan Wilder and just kind of went to town. We started playing and I said, you know, a lot of high-end food that is approachable for everyone, that isn't expensive, you know, but still is high-end food. Yeah, it's all, you because know. Look at the menu. It, like it just looks very foodie, you know. Like people that it are foodies, is. like they're gonna love the menu. Yeah, it's it's foodie. You it, guys are it, in it, for a real it matches the beer to where the beer is super super crafty, the food is super foodie. So I think everybody's gonna be pleased. It's been worth the wait. We would have liked to have been open a little bit earlier, but you know, perfection takes a little bit of time. Absolutely. So you were looking at the beginning of August. The beginning of August. The Mobile City Council votes August second. So we're really excited about that. We've already talked to. You. You know our city councilman. You know Fredrickson is over that district, so we're really excited. I know he's probably really excited too. I know Mayor Simpson is. You know we've spoken about old shell growlers and everything, so it's going to be a lot of fun for the entire area, the midtown, downtown it's really community. Going to take up that area as well. I think. Yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. What's cool about it too is it's a mixture, kind of like beer garden is, where you'll have one table of 21 year olds. We have another table of 60 year olds. I mean, it's it's so eclectic, and that's what yeah, we love about exactly. doing things. Um, while we're on this question, go ahead and tell the viewers where Old Shell Rider is actually located. All right, so it's 1801 Old Shell Road, right across from the Dew Drop. So while you're over at the Dew Drop, you know, having a hot dog, oldest restaurant in Mobile, come across, get a pint, take it home with you. You 
whatever you want. It used to be an old pharmacy building. It did. It was Nixon Drugs for the longest. Yes. And then it was Red or White, and then it was Spoken Trail. And now we're going to take it over and see what we can do That's with exciting. it. That's yeah. exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, question number five. You grew up in Mobile. What's the biggest changes that you've seen as a young business owner in downtown Mobile? Um, downtown has just exploded in the best way possible over the past five years. Um, from the Downtown Mobile Alliance and the Convention and Visitors Bureau doing their job, the City of Mobile just as a whole, the Mayor's Office, everybody really comes together and this is the place to be in Mobile. You know, we it's clean, it's safe, it's... I would not choose any other place in Mobile to do business at if I had to pick than Downtown Mobile. It's awesome. You're down I'm here. here. I'm, I'm so loving your business I'm is down here. I'm loving it. I'm like a block away from you now. We so. pulled you from West Mobile. I know. I know. I do. I love it. And um, you know what I love about Matthew is anything that I've ever seen you on TV talking about Mobile, or any time that there's ever been like anything crazy going on, you have such a passion about the city and it just shows and it's just awesome to have you. Yeah, it's, I mean, we, it, it, it takes great neighbors, too. I mean, you know, we've got awesome businesses down here like Alchemy Tavern, Haley's, Heroes Bar and Grill, T.P. Crockmeyer's, Boo Radley's, Brick Garden, all these great neighbors. And that's what really makes fun down here yes. is just, is just being around. we always work together. Yeah, we work together on all kinds of stuff. We're all great friends. Yeah, exactly. So. Tell our viewers how they can get in touch with you if they want to book a party here at Beer Garden. Uh, all right, yeah, so you can call us 251-287-6871, uh, or you can go to our website, lodabeer.com. It's L-O-D-A-B-E-E-R.com, and you can follow the links from there. Email us. We're super chill. We've got upstairs open for private parties whenever you want one, and we'll be as accommodating as we possibly can. So is there any block parties in the future? Block parties, yeah. We probably have got some coming up pretty soon. We've already set the date for our uh, bike ride that we'll be doing November 12th. We big turnout last yeah, year. Yeah, so we had over 300 people. We were with Delta Bike Project. It's going to go to benefit yes. them again. So, uh, are you guys still doing the ride out to Mellow? Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we are. We go to Mellow Mushroom and back. It's every Wednesday night. Sponsored by New Belgium Brewery. Um, it's great. Two dollar pint. You can't beat it. Yeah, and they have great specials every single day. So you definitely want to check out this place. It's, it's awesome, and I'm so happy that you are downtown. Yeah. Happy to be here. Can't wait to see everything grow even more. Good. Thanks for um, doing the fast five with me, and um, hope all viewers come and visit for lunch. See you later. Thanks, guys.